Welcome to the Aviation Institute of Maintenance. Today we will be demonstrating proper procedures on weight and balance. Our task is to weigh the Cessna 150G 1966 series. Condition, inside of a hangar in a classroom environment, which our equipment includes our weight scale, our balance bar, and 10 motivated future AMP mechanics. Our standard is to properly weigh the Cessna 150G 1966, and a mo 1966 model, AC43, with the coordinates of Section 2 weight procedures. Our standards will be met by following the AC43 13-1B, our TCDS manual, and our Tesla 150G manual. So, what are the procedures you have to take uh, to do before doing the weight and balance? Pay we your manual. We prepared the airplane by draining the fuel from the tanks mm -hmm. and draining the oil from the engine. Why did you drain the oil from the engine? Because it's a aircraft that was certificated before March 1, 1978. So, uh, MG weight is based on undrainable oil and fuel. Thank you so much. So Pierre will be telling us what we'll be doing using his 150G manual. Continue. So we've got the weight and balance information and weighing procedure here. We'll uh, take the first step of inflating the tires to the recommended pressures and making sure we have the proper tires on the aircraft. Why do we do weight and balance? We do weight and balance to make sure the airplane is safe to fly. It's and why do you want to do it on this plane? Uh, we don't have any weight and balance information on it. We need to uh, establish a proper weight and balance. Hi Robert, you are going to check the tire if we have the right pressure in it. From a uh, manual, it's supposed to be 21 PSI. So you check the tire pressure for us. So you have 36, so what will you do now? I'm going to uh, deflate, take some of the air out of the tire to get to the right PSI. You've released some of the air. What pressure do you have now? 21. 21, exactly. Thank you. We finished checking the tire pressure. You want Pierre to tell us the next process. So we'll take the cowl off. We'll drop a plumb bob from the firewall and make a mark on the floor with a piece of tape. And then we'll do the same on the mains and then uh, find the center there. And we'll be able to measure the distance, uh, we'll also do it for the nose wheel and measure the distance for each uh, arm. Okay, so now we have Josh and Musi opening the cowl for us. Good. Release the quick release fasteners and slide the cowling a little bit forward and up. And they're going to take it. <laughs> so now we have our firewall where we'll take our data firewall. measurements. Yeah. Okay. And to get the plane level, also we need we might have to deflate the strut if need be, and our strut is over there. <laughs> so we are here with Brian, who is in charge of the leveling, telling us what to do about leveling, and is working together with Mr. Jeffrey. So Ryan, what is why, why did you get the information on how to do the leveling for this 150G? Um, first you can check the TCDS for the leveling means, mm -hmm. which is the point on the aircraft in which the balance is measured. And uh, Jeffrey's going to show us how to measure. Okay. And, uh, on this aircraft, the leveling means is located on the tail cone between the two rivets. Okay. So Jeff, is, your, is the plane level? No, the uh, plane is out of level. What we have to do now is either the either add or lower the struts. As you can see, the leveling is not centered. So this lets you know that the aircraft is not properly level. We have to get the aircraft properly level to do a proper weight and balance on this aircraft. Okay, thank you. So now we might have to deflate our tire or deflate the struts. Thank you. Um, so in order to level the plane, we had to let out the air from the main nose, and Steve did that for us. And we took out some of the air from the strut. We still have about one and a half inch left of the strut. We didn't want it to bottom out. She let the air out the strut. Mm -hmm. We announced, if you can see, the leveling on the tail cone is in the center. The bubble is in the center of the two lines, letting us know that the aircraft is pretty much level at this time. Thank so you. So do that. Do that. That now we know the aircraft. We can start our weight weight balance. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ryan and Jeff, for a job well done. Yeah. But. 
marking the position uh, along the longitudinal direction for the nose gear for its arm. Okay. Now I'll do the firewall. Okay. So from our TCDS, we know that the firewall is where we take a datum from. Down? And we use masking tape on the um, ground. Then you also need to do the firewall perpendicular. Okay. 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 Let's do, um, you know, out this direction for the. Uh, yeah, I'm from a line, aren't you? We're getting the axle. We're just getting the axle line, okay? We're just getting the axle. Should I go this way? Uh, no, we want, we, want this, we want this line that we're actually. That this is actually. Uh -huh. So this is our datum for our. Datum, you mean your center for the main. The uh, distance from main to the datum. I thought your datum is up for. Mm. Yeah, well, oh, I'm sorry, it's not. Mm. It's a arm. Yeah, You're right. Yeah. You're right. It could be our The datum to the nose wheel distance. Okay, datum to the nose wheel. Then when you finish, you do your datum to the mains and then mains right. to the nose. Okay, thank you. So this distance is 11 inches. So just to verify, your aft is 11, is 11 right? Inches? Yeah, yes. nose to the datum, 11 inches. Okay. Now we'll go datum to main. Minus 11. Where is our data? Right here. So the nose is minus 11 inches. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that should be a minus. <laughs> 47 and a half. Just checking to see if anyone's listening. Are we doing a Cessna or? Okay, then we take from the nose to the main. From the nose to the main again, just oh, to let's, confirm. Let's measure nose to the main. Okay. You're on. This is uh, 58 and a quarter. 58 and a quarter? Yeah. Samba, let me look at your paper. So already you've given us your uh, distances. Okay, this is your tail. You've already taken the yeah, tail measurement. Yeah, three pound on uh, all sides. So now we can load up. Uh, exactly, we can push the plane up and on the jacket. Okay. okay. We're covering back the cowling. We have Bernard, uh, Josh, and Robert helping us to close down the cowling. We've made sure that the brakes are off. Our plane has been cleaned already. We are ready to roll up the plane onto the scales. One, two, three. Let's all talk it through. Train it. Okay, chuck your tires. Stop. Stop. Every time you touch it, you change the weight. Okay, our plane is still level. Or 421 with chocks. 421 with the chocks, which is our chair that we're going to take up. Okay, yeah, with three pounds. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for a good job. Now we've finished putting our plane on the scale. We have our weights. We'll go into the classroom to do the CG and do the other calculations for this project. So, Michael, what do you want to say on behalf of the class? On behalf of the future aviation maintenance technicians, we would like to thank you for viewing our weight and balance class. We hope you've learned something and good luck in the future. Thank you. So we have um, Samba, <laughs> Josh, Robert, Bernard, say hello to your viewers. What's up man, we the best. Jeffrey. Go New York. Our company coming out. <laughs> uh, Michael. We're the best. Ryan. Musi, Musi, say hi to your hi. viewers. <laughs> Pierre, Stephen. So after our weight and balance project, we restored the plane back to where it was. Inflated the front nose wheel tire, inflated the strut, and returned the plane to the serviceable uh, level.